What's up guys, Persian Punk here, and today I've got some zombies for you. Um, I'm playing solo, and I this is like my first game that I actually got above level 10. I'm really excited about that. Um, so I thought I'd let share um, some tips for solo play. So, right off the bat, what you want to do is buy a uh, Quick Revive. That way, uh, in solo, if you have Quick Revive, um, whenever you go down, you'll get the Mustang and Sally. And basically, it's a uh, Akimbo pistols, but they shoot grenade launch. They shoot grenades, basically. It's like a Akimbo grenade launchers. Um, and you want Juggernaut by at least round. If you have, if you don't have Juggernaut, and you're on round ten. You need to get that. That's your like number one priority. So once you get around there, uh, what you want to do is start doing what I'm doing, running around in circles around this uh, stage right here. Uh, the, the running zombies who are like sprinting right now, they, they aren't as fast as your regular walk. So you want to save your sprint. See how I'm walking right here and they're not even catching me? Just turn around and spray, you get a ton of points. Oh, crap. Uh, you got to be careful whenever you turn around and spray because you never know. Um, you got to make sure that there's no... I don't want Carpenter. You got to make sure that there's nothing behind you. And you don't want to get Carpenter. That'll just slow you down. Especially, like, if, if there's a bunch of car zombies, not the ones that fart, but the, uh, the car zombies isn't, like, the regular zombies that lose their legs, uh, they could be, if there's more than one of them, there could be, it could be a big problem, because they won't follow you, they'll just go really slowly, and then you'll run into them, they'll block your pathway, and then you'll get caught, it's happened to me a couple times, but the monkey bomb saved me. Um, so basically what I'm doing is, uh, I'm not sprinting, but I'm saving my sprint for those tight corners. Wherever I'm about, if I don't use it, I'll get stuck or I'll get cornered, and then I'll turn around and just spray like this and get a ton of points. Right now I'm going for around 20,000 points so I can go with the mystery box until I get a thunder gun. I don't want to kill them all at once because then I'll have to start over and get a new mob. I want to kill some of them, but if I kill them all, unless I have a thunder gun, it's going to kind of suck. So... Basically, I'm doing the XCal strategy. I'm trying to get their, uh, 20,000 so I can go through in the mystery box until I get about, uh, what's it called, uh, the Thunder Gun. And then I'll use all that ammo and uh, then upgrade it. So, if you're going to upgrade a gun, make sure you use all the ammo first because the Packet Punch will immediately give you all your ammo back. Um, right now, I'm running around circles. There we go, spray, spray. It's good to aim for the head because you get more points for that. And around um, the first levels, knife only. Don't be afraid to buy the original guns. Like, whenever I watch XCal, I saw that he didn't do it, so I didn't want to do it. Uh, but anyways, um, I was in a sticky situation. I decided to go for it. I bought them for team, saved my life. I probably wouldn't be here right now if I didn't get it. Um, so basically, I'm using the AUG right here uh... because i got out of the random mystery box uh... i got a commando and a glue before this uh... you want to make sure you have one gun that's off the wall mine is the uh, m16 so i have um, uh, like i'll never run out of ammo i'll just go buy some more because if you have two random mystery boxes your only hope is max ammo and that's not a good thing and uh... sorry if you hear my heavy breathing i'm trying to like say a lot of stuff in one breath so um. What, uh, see, like, right there, that zombie went in front of me. <coughs> um, so, I say my sprint for those moments. See how I'm just regularly walking, and those sprinting zombies can't even catch up to me. This is a dangerous part, wherever you get here. Because, um, the, the middle part, those zombies will come through there, so you got to be careful about that. I like to wait until I get to the end of the stage to fire. That way I have the whole mob, instead of, uh, you know, half running through the middle and half running around the edge. Uh, so, uh, I'm not gonna buy any more perks, like, uh, Double Tap or Speed Cola until I get the, uh, what do you call it, the Thunder Gun, because, uh, I'm gonna need that. If I want to progress to higher levels a lot faster, which I do, so, I've basically had a ton of goes right now. I've probably wasted around, uh, 50,000 points at the Mystery Box, uh, I haven't gotten the Thunder Gun yet, so... See right there, I sprinted so I wouldn't get caught between that one zombie and the mob. That one zombie could screw you up, so you gotta be ready. Ugh. Oh, I'm also sick, so if I sound a bit weird, sorry. Um, see, there we go. I need to get around those two. So, basically, I don't see any more zombies spawning in. Let's turn around and fire. 
you don't want to completely stop moving. Um, you know, it, it would screw you up. Uh, so basically, once you get the thunder gun, what you want to do is instead of if you want to get points, you spray into them. But if you um, if you want to just get to the next level, you want to hit them with the thunder gun. The only problem is at the beginning, whenever you're rounding them up, that's the hard part. Uh, it's a lot easier whenever you have a big mob and only like one or two zombies are coming at a time. But uh, at the beginning, I'll probably like pause the recording and then I'll show you at the beginning of a round what it's like. Uh, don't worry too much about conserving ammo because as long as you have one gun from off the wall that's close to you, uh, you could uh, you'll uh, have plenty of ammo and you get a dog round like every five rounds I think somewhere around there. Um, if you're cornered, don't be afraid to go to the pack a punch room. You know, I usually will go there if uh, if I'm in a bad situation and just toss grenades down, and it makes it a lot easier. I've done that a couple times, saved my life. It's spraying here, so I think I'm gonna end the video here. I'll start up uh, another one at the beginning of the next round, so I could show you uh, how to gather up the zombies from scratch. Okay, see you in a minute.